T6 2017 non-calculator paper. So substituting in the values, 5x, 5 times 5, minus 2 times y squared, and y squared is minus 3 times minus 3 times z, which is 4. 5 times 5 is 25, minus 2 times minus 3 is plus 6, and minus 3 times minus 4 is minus 12. 6 times minus 12 is minus 72, and 25 take away 72 is minus 47. Explain a math means do the sums. So the first shape we have is a trapezium, and you can get the formula for that in the formula sheet. But it's half the sum of the parallel sides times the distance between. So that's a half times 33 times 4. Half of 4 is 2, and 2 times 33 is 66. Second shape is a parallelogram, and the area of a parallelogram is base times height. So that's 11 times the height. We can't work out the height, but we know that the height will be less than 6, and that's because the slant edge is, is 6. So the area will be less than 11 times 6, which is 66. The last shape is a trapezium, so half the sum of the parallel sides times the distance between 1 half times 11 times 12, half of 12 is 6, 6 11 or 66. So we've explained why two shapes have an area of 66 while the other does not. The first transformation between the two shapes that we can see is a reflection. So for a reflection we state type of transformation which is reflection and the line which is x equals 1. Secondly we have been asked to transform the shape or rotate the shape about minus 1 3 so we mark on our center of rotation. So we place the tracing paper as shown onto the um, shape with the point uh, or the corner of the tracing paper at the point of rotation. Then trace out the shape and we're going to rotate the tracing paper 90 degrees anti-clockwise. After rotating the shape around we then trace out the points of the rotated shape and with a ruler and pencil in the exam, I don't have that facility on this app, we join them up to show the image that we've been asked for. Question 4. To work out the probability that it stops in yellow, we need to add together the other probabilities. So that's 0 0.1, 0 0.22 and 0 0.27. 2 and 7 is 9, 9 and 9 18, carry 1, 2, 4, 6. So that's 0 0.68. So yellow will be 1 minus 0 0.68, which is 0 0.32. The probability that it will stop in red or green is the probability of red plus the probability of green, which gives 0.46. We have a ratio of 5 to 4. The 5p coins are worth 5p, and the 20p coins are worth 20p. So that's a ratio of their value of 25 to 80. 5 goes into 25 5 times and goes into 80 16 times. This part B, um, mark share is 48 points and 48 points is 6 parts. So if we divide by 6, we get that 1 part is 48 divided by 6, which is 8 points. In total, we want 11 parts. So the total amount of money is 11 times 8, which is 88. So we need to be careful here of what's asked for in the question. We've been asked for a formula for A, which means we want to know what A equals. And the width is 3 times, so we have 3W. So A is W times 3W. We'll get marks if we leave it like that, but we can simplify it. W times W is 3W squared, so A is 3W squared. Be very careful. If you just write 3w squared in the answer box, that is an expression because there's no equal sign and we have been asked for a formula. We want to know when the area equals 48. 
So if we divide by 3, we want to know when w squared is 16. So that is when w is 4. To complete the boxes in the multiplication, we want to know 2, but we want to end up with 4. 2 times 2 is 4. Um, x is already up here, so we don't need to multiply. We don't need to increase the power. But y times y will give us y squared. 3 times 3 will give us 9. We need to multiply by x to get the x. And we don't multiply by y. We don't want to increase the power. So for reciprocal, we write it as a fraction. So that's 2 and a half, which is 5 over 2. And the reciprocal is the inverse, so it's 2 fifths. To start with in this question, I'm going to make the minus 5r squared a positive. So 5r squared t must equal 2q minus p. Dividing them by 5t, r squared will be 2q minus p all over 5t, and then r will be the square root of 2q minus p over 5t. I would encourage you to use the brackets, because otherwise you can sometimes only put the square root sign over the numerator, and then you'll lose a mark. This is a similar triangles question. We have the smaller triangle and then we have the larger triangle. They have the same angles. A is common, C is common and um, because of the parallel lines D and A are corresponding so they are the same size. So the small triangle is 7 and 10 and the large one we're trying to find the bottom but the side is 16. Ratios between the sides must be the same, which means that x divided by 7 must equal 16 divided by 10. So x divided by 7 must be 1.6, and x must be 7 times 1.6. If I do 16 times 7, 7 sixes are 42. 7 times 1 is 7, plus 4 is 11. Then 7 times 1.6 must be 11.2. At the start we have 12 socks and 7 are black and 5 are white. We've removed a sock which means we only have 11 socks left. If we follow the pathways, if we've removed a black that means there's now only 6 black and 5 white. If we have removed a white then there are 7 black and 4 white. Two blacks, multiply the probabilities, so 7 twelfths times 6 elevenths, 42 over 132. And two whites would be 5 twelfths followed by 4 elevenths, 20 over 132. Adding those together, we get 62 over 132, which simplifies to 31 over 66. We've been asked to use this graph to solve when 2x squared minus x minus 3 equals 3 minus 1 and a half x. That means we want to draw this line onto the graph. So when x is 0, y is 3 take away 1 and a half times 0, which is 0, so that's 3. When x is 1, y will be 3 take away 1 and a half, which is 1 and a half. And when x is 2, y will be 3, take away 3, which is 0. Plot those points. So that is 2, 0, 1, 1 and a half, and 0, 3. We join them up with a ruler and pencil. The answer to our question then are the x values where the line and the curve meet. And my line and curve meet at minus 1.9 and 1.6. You might get slightly different answers depending on how thick your line is, um, but so long as the examiner can see where you've clearly got your answers. If we start by expanding the brackets, square root of three, square root of 27, Square root of 3 times the square root of 3 is 3. Square root of 3 times the square root of 27. 3 27s are 81, so it's the square root of 81, which is 9. Root 27 times root 3, we've just shown, is 9. 
and the square root of 27 times the square root of 27 is 27. So we want to do 3 plus 9 plus 9 plus 27, which gives an answer of 48. We have to expand the brackets, 6 minus root 5, 3 plus 2 root 5, 3 times 6 is 18, 3 times minus root 5 is minus 3 root 5, 6 times 2 root 5, 12 root 5, and 2 root 5 times minus root 5 will be minus 2 times 5, so that's minus 10. That gives us 18 minus 10, which is 8 and 12 minus 3 root 5, which is 9 root 5. So the A is 8, and the C is 9. A cylinder is a prism, and the volume of a cylinder is the cross-sectional area, so that is the area of the circle times the height. So in this case, that will be pi times 3x times 3x times 32x. 32 times 9. 9 twos are 18, 9 threes are 27, so it's 28. So 288 pi and x times x times x is x cubed. If we go back to the formula sheet, the volume of a sphere is 4 thirds pi r cubed. And we want to know when that equals 288 pi x cubed. The first thing I can do is both of these contain pi, so I'm going to cancel them. I need to bring the 4 and the 3 across, so I'm going to divide by 4. So 288 divided by 4 is 72. And then I need to multiply by 3, which gives me 216. So r cubed is 216x cubed. So r is the cube root of 216, which is 6, the cube root of x cubed, which is x.